Okay, we're inside the bathhouse. This is just a small portion of one of the two bathhouses that are at Beth Shawn. This is the smaller of the two, but this one is now covered and we're seeking to preserve it. Help us to understand what the bathhouse is all about. Yeah. These hippo styles, these are just a platform which will place a floor which would have mosaic and then oh, a pool okay. of water. And why are they having a raised floor here? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to have fires. You have slaves who burn the fires, be a miserable life, a miserable job, but they're gonna burn and then the heat will come under the floor okay. and the whole floor will be this heated. Is like a hot tub. It's a hot tub. Okay. It's a hot tub. But you actually have three different temperatures. You have three different tubs. In fact, we'll go look at the tank, the names, and some more description. You can see what an oven looks like and so forth. Okay. But yeah, basically these were social places. And every Roman city, any city of size in the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. had both theaters and bathhouses. Well, they had more than that. They had hippodromes. They had, yeah. some of them had uh, amphitheaters. And so they're that places where you go for entertainment and for pleasure. So a variety of entertainment. Yeah, uh-huh. But only for men, at least here. Only for men. <laughs> for ladies. <laughs> Okay. Only for men, that's right. Yeah, yeah, sorry. But you could ask me, um, that's a good one to add in there. Yeah. So, um, other than coming to the hot tub, what did they do here? Did they just... Yeah, it wasn't just to take a bath. Oh, okay. I mean, it really was a social event. And there would be people who have readings, they might have readings, they might have some musicians. Oh, wow. So, and Fancy. of course, the big back bathhouses in Rome had mm -hmm. some just massive ones. I mean, it covers many, many acres. Oh, wow. It's not like we even think about doing in our world today. Wow. But yeah, they would come here and, uh, yes, you're right, men only, and uh, <laughs> they would socialize. This is where okay. they would spend their time with other guys. Chatting, you know? probably. And talking and... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what would this one be, I wonder? Uh, just another part of it. I mean, again, we're just in a little tiny portion of the tiny total size of a bathhouse. I mean, this is a tiny portion. And now, we have signs on the wall that describe what happens here. You have to start on the right, because Hebrew is written from which direction to which direction? Right to left. Right to left. And so, they start reading from the back of their Bibles, what we would call the back. They call it the front, because it's from right to left. And so when you read, you come in and you throw and you have their paint, but you get into a very hot tub first. It's called a caldaria. It's kind of like the word scalding. And so you start there. And then you go to what's not as warm, tepidarium and tepid water. It's kind of like the English word. And then, of course, you finally go to where it's uh, actually quite cool water. And we call that a frigerium. Frigidarium? What is it called? Frigidarium. Frigidarium. Um, frigidarium. But part of the process is, and we have many of these tools still today, you take tools, you put oil on the body, and you have someone who's actually like going to the barber, they cut your hair, now you go to the bath and they'll scrape your body and they'll pull off all that oil they just put on. And so those metal tools, many of them exist still today. They've been found and so we have them. So it's a real process. Part of the world is in every city of size back then. It's just part of the Roman world. It's very relaxing. So, okay. Um, now as we walk out, Sarah, notice that it's very large. We walked into a small portion, and again, this is not the largest bathhouse here. And so, in this one city, two bathhouses. And so, in Rome, the greatest bathhouses were just huge. And so, and they were all over, because this is something that virtually every man did. You go to the bathhouse. And it's not just for friends, and it's social, it's activity. Now, so every man would go, every man from every social class, I guess? Well, slaves obviously could not. You know, slaves are there to be slaves. Yeah. But yes, the Roman citizens had the right to be the